Right then, folks. Um, smash Studio A D D Smash, whatever you want to call me, call me Dan Brian, whatever. What we're gonna do is we're looking at Virtual DJ at the minute. Virtual DJ version 5.2.1. I'm just gonna, be, gonna do uh, a lot of videos explaining Virtual DJ. So you're looking at the main screen here. Um, so you got your library of music at the bottom here. Obviously, you got your music on your computer. Blah blah blah. Then you can open up in the browser window. Go to the selected track you want. The selected file you want. The album. Um, go into it. Obviously, for your track. So if I just pick that, and if I just drag, pick it, click on it, click on it like this. Drag, you'll see a little icon come up. You'll see, see a little icon come up uh, with a CD player. Drop it into there. Uh, it just loads in there, and then I have to do. All you have to do then is press play. Right. Um, so this is video number one. I'm going to explain in in brief the the deck. This deck here. So what you can do is you can change the pitch. I'm mean, it's on 100%. So we'll just change that. You just click on it like this. Well, you should be able to click on it like this. But uh, if you just you should be able to click on it and it changes. But if not, just press the little plus and minus buttons here, and it'll change. Plus or minus six is probably about right for mixing, as long as your tracks not way out of BPM from each other. So if you play, obviously I'll just demonstrate the pitch. There's your pitch. Um, as I said, this video on this is not looking in depth, it's just brief. Um, you've got a loop sampler, so basically, what we can do is assign it to a, uh, a sample. So we set to number one. Now, if you just press record, we want to record it. So now, then, you've got a loop on there. This is a flanger. Now, there's loads of effects on. Well, not loads, but there's backspin, beat grid, break, flanger, flipping double, key changer, overloop, TK filters V2, and vocals plus. We're not going to over go over each one um, today, but basically, you effect select, effect select, turn it on and off. You've got your parameters here. You can obviously, change the um, level of the effect. So we'll just demonstrate the flanger. So you can get silly with the flanger and make it sound horrible. Uh, you've got your smart loops here. Now, if you've got a controller for this, uh, uh, if you've got a new Mac DMC2 or something like that, it'll have a, a little thing what's called smart on it. And when that's lit up, it means the the looping point where I'm showing now um, is actually a smart. It'll do a smart loop. These are your smart loops here. So I'll just show you. A, so if you've got the track queued up, so we'll just queue it up properly like that. Queue. Um, and we put f press four on here. Press play. It will do a four bar loop. Uh, we can have a two bar loop. A one bar loop. And we can go lower than that. So you can do your own remixes on the fly if you want to. Obviously, there's 8, 16, and 32 bar as well. And this, you can shift the loop, and obviously, you can change the length um, by this one here. Uh, you've got cue points, so you can have, as the track goes along, you can set cue points so you can like do remixes and stuff like that on the fly as well with the looping. You've got this, which enables you to scratch. Obviously, you've got control, it's a lot better for it. Um, you got this, put it in reverse. Obviously, the track's not playing, so if I play it and then put it in reverse, it in. Well, that actually reverses the track, so just take that back off. Sync, what this what this little button does is it's if you've got another track on this deck here, um, it'll sync, it'll match the BPMs for you, and you can then mix with the BPMs matched. Um, this is a key lock button, so if I take the key lock off, I'll just change the change the picture a bit so you can see what I mean. Take the key lock off, the key will change as well as the pitch to show you. If I have the key lock on, on that the 
key saying stays the same says that says stays the same can't get my words out anyway um anyway yeah you could hear when i moved it like that with the key lock on it started to get a bit digitally but you expect that from it anyway so yeah uh, obviously pitch bend here plus and minus and that is to eject the song off the deck so that's uh, a brief overlook on the first deck of virtual dj version 5.2.1 Thank you very much. Practice and enjoy. <laughs> 